Well, Tim is encouraging us to guard our hearts, but what about guarding our bodies if we find ourselves in a sticky situation? And oftentimes we're not wearing workout clothes or things that are easy to breathe in, whether it's a dress and heels or a suit and tie. Joining us is Ali Mosea. He is a seventh degree black belt with I Karate Club. Ali, thanks so much for being here Thank with us today. Thank you for having us. Of course. And today we are walking through how we can adjust our motions if we find ourselves in a not so great situation, needing yeah. to defend ourselves in clothes that aren't that movable, right? Right, and multiple <laughs> attackers too, so yes. that way you'll learn not to get caught in the middle. That's what I'm about to show you all. And I like that. Well, our multiple attackers are here with us. We have Bernard, Corey, and Brian, and I'm actually going to step out of the way so Ali, you can walk us through what to do if we find ourselves in a three-on-one situation. Okay, and before we start real fast, we just kind of, it's a simulation, but it's real. They're just attacking at me. Um, but the thing you don't want to do if there's multiple attackers is get caught in the middle. Okay, you always want to pick a side and then work from there because in the middle they can just pound you. Okay, we don't want that. No, we <laughs> don't all. want we, that. We do not want to <laughs> get pounded. Okay, at all. So in a situation while I'm here and I'm about to get attacked and there's multiple attackers, what I could actually do whenever you're ready. Well, Ali, <laughs> that was great. He did that with a suit and tie on. Let's just okay. remember that. All right. That was quick thinking. Mm -hmm. You were aware. You were agile. Walk us through exactly what you just did. Okay. Thank you. Let me remember. <laughs> it was not choreographed, y'all. We knew they were fighting me, but all right. So the first thing I did when Brian comes, I parried here. Okay. Then I struck to the face, then pushed Brian into him. Then I come. Wow kick him, then he comes, boom. Then I deal with him. And then now, if you notice, I have parted the ways and created a space for me to leave. But again, it comes from the scholar and the warrior, and I have to think my way through. Now, if I had some keys, I would have used my keys on Brian when he did the punch. Because the thing is, I'm trying to go home, not look good, not look like Karate Man. I'm trying to make it home safely. Just make it home safely and button my suit up when I get there. I mean, that was amazing. Okay, you look great, by the way. I Thank have to you very you know. much. We saw a few different strikes there happen. You mentioned that you parried. You took care of one. You're thinking through this because, yes, it's three versus one. And you using him as a one. shield. Exactly. Yeah. Using the attackers against each other just to make sure you can get away and even button up that suit button when it's time to go. Up. What other strikes did you use in the middle of that demonstration? So in the middle of the demonstration, I did the parry here, <laughs> palm heel. Then when um, I came, I did a side kick to Bernard to create space. He kicked at me. I blocked, struck to the groin, <laughs> strike to the face. Now this is a palm heel rake also. Then I came to Bernard, <laughs> kicked the leg here, <laughs> palm heel. Notice my, I'm using my full body with my strikes and if I need to, I can crush his Achilles tendon right here, too, Ooh. because I'm aware of what's going on around me. So, again, you just have to be aware. And every situation is different. And if they had came different, I would have had to respond differently. And I might have to take my jacket off after this. <laughs> right. Well, we all know that knowledge is power. And just knowing that you need to be aware, knowing those the different combinations, those different strikes, different ways you can move and groove. If you do find yourself in a situation where you do have to defend yourself, all of this knowledge can be learned with Ali at I Karate Club. Ali, yeah. where can people find you? You can find me at the Heights. And we actually have a free seminar coming up June 26th. And we'll be working on multiple attacker defenses. And it's June 26th at 2 p.m at the Heights, 8001 Dale Avenue. Well, it was just amazing to see you in action today. I mean, what's the Thank best you. part about being able to share your knowledge with the community, whether it's on TV or inside of your classes? I like empowering people to feel confident because I feel confident when I was dealing with them. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I feel empowered knowing that I have options and giving other people options. Those options kind of bring awareness. And then sometimes, You'll find people like myself won't end up fighting a lot because I read the situation. And then now I'm sweating so much, I'm definitely not fighting anymore. <laughs> it's like, I'm done, this is over with. Yeah. Well, I feel empowered just watching you. And well, thank you. you all were amazing as well. So thank you very thank you much. Thank you guys for being here with us today. Scholar, Scholar and the warrior. warrior. Am I doing that the right way? That's right. There we go. There here it we is. Go. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Ali, Bernard, Corey, 
Brian, guys, thank y'all for being here with us today. And we'll make sure you have access to all of that information on how you can learn from this seventh degree black belt, Ali Mosea. We'll post all that information on our website at studiostl.tv. St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in a jiffy.